Hello, I'm Daniel Hörbach and I'm going to get you started with Ubuntu development today. We're going to talk a fair bit about packaging, which is the process of changing source code of an application in such a way that we can apply one build process to all kinds of packages, no matter what language they're written in, and turn them into, into binary packages. Your first step into Ubuntu development is the Motu team. Motu stands for Masters of the Universe, which references the universe section of Ubuntu. So what the Motu team does is fixing all kinds of universe and multiverse packages. And to, to help out there, you will, once you've fixed the bug, you will attach your patch to, to the bug report. Then subscribe the reviewers team, and once they're happy with, with your patch, they're going to do what we call sponsoring. They will sign the source package with, with their GPG key and upload it to the build demons. And once you've gone through the process a couple of times and they use reviewers are happy with you, you can apply for, for membership in the Motu team. Now what we're going to do in this tutorial is set you up and get your development environment in place. The first thing is going to be installing a couple of packages that are required. We're going to set up your GPG key and pbuilder, which is a tool to um, build packages in a, in, a, um, in a sane way. So let's get started installing some packages. Among the, the packages is um, DevScripts, which is a tool that makes maintaining a package, actually working on the, on the source code, really easy. We're going to install Build Essential, which will pull in GCC, make all the tools that are required to compile source code, um, GPG itself, and PBuilder, and the HMake, which is an interesting tool to do packaging from scratch. I will install the packages on a new machine now. And while the Oh, it's it's finished already. So what we're going to do now is um, setting up two variables which we're going to need all the time. One of them is, is your name and the other one is, is your email address. For that I will edit um, .bashrc. If you use a different shell of course you will have to, to um, change the, the file accordingly. Export that full name equals your name and export deb email your email address now save the file and once that's done you will need to run source.bashrc or restart your shell so so all the packaging tools will will make use of that Next we're going to set up GPG. GPG stands for GNU Privacy Guard and is the tool we use to ide identify ourselves and the work we've done across the internet. So for example, if you upload a source package, you will need to sign it with your key to identify this as your work, otherwise the build demons will, will reject it. So to create a key, you will need to run gpg dash dash gen key, and we will stick to the defaults. Then enter your real name, your email address, and now you will have to pick a passphrase. 
try to pick a fairly safe one. That's why I'm going to use a longer one. Okay, while GPG generates the key, it will need entropy. That means it will require some, some machine activity. So while this runs, we will set up pBuilder. pBuilder is a very interesting tool because if you tell it to compile a source package, it will go from a minimal pristine environment and install what we call the build dependencies of the package. Build depends means this is a package that is required for, for this package to, to build successfully. So what we need to do is tell pBuilder where to get packages from. We will create a, a small file called .pbuilderrc and specify components and then just mention main, restricted, universe, and multiverse. In short, use all the sections in Ubuntu. Now we will run sudo pbuilder create so that pbuilder creates that initial pristine environment. That's going to take a while, and once it's done, you're all set and ready to go.